Hello, hello, it's Miss Benina, and today I will be reading Nobot, the robot with no bottom by Sue Hendra. Bernard the robot loved to play at the park. Whee! He swung high, high, high up into the sky. Soon it was time to go. Bernard jumped off the swing and headed home. He'd only walked a little way when... My bottom! cried Bernard. It's disappeared! Where can it be? Bernard went back to the park to look, but he couldn't see his bottom anywhere. Excuse me, monkey, he said. Have you seen my bottom? Hmm, said monkey. I, I think I might have. Bird is using it. Come and see. Hello, bird, said monkey. Have you still got Bernard's bottom? Oops, Bernard. Was that your bottom? said bird. It was too heavy to be a nest. So I gave it to bear to use in his drum kit. Let's go and get it back. Excuse me, bear. Have you been drumming on my bottom asked bernard oops bernard was that your bottom said bear it made a funny noise so i couldn't use it i don't know where it is now oh said bernard don't worry your bottom's gotta be somewhere said his friends kindly Look, there it is, said Monkey. That's just Gary's hat, said Bernard. There it is, said Bird. That's just Edward's shopping basket, said Bernard. Isn't that it, said Bear? No, that's just Dog's window box. Bernard was sad. I'll never get my bottom back, he sobbed. Come and sit down, said his friends, and we'll think where to look next. I can't sit down, said Bernard. I haven't got a bottom. I'm not a robot. I'm a no-bot. And he walked away to carry on looking. After a while, he arrived at the beach. He looked out to sea and saw something very familiar. There it was. Come back, he shouted. Come back here. You've got my bottom. But the rabbits couldn't hear him. Bernard jumped and waved, but it was no good. Then, as he turned away, he spotted a strange-shaped castle. He had found his bottom. Bernard was so happy to have his bottom back, he did a wiggly-jiggly dance, and so did all his friends. And Bernard never lost his bottom again. The end. Went-o-bye! Oh,